Hello, everybody, and welcome. My name is Jonathan Pearl. In this course, I'm going to take you through all the fundamentals of recording and editing audio using Logic Pro 10. Logic Pro is a super powerful DAW, and it's extremely customizable, letting you create a workflow that really suits your own personality. So my hope is that this course can help you work with Logic until it fits like a glove and feels super comfortable. The course is going to be divided into two basic parts. The first half of the course deals with audio recording. So in section one, I'm covering audio recording basics. I'll start with our audio preferences so that we can deal with issues like recording and plug-in latency. I'll get started with the recording session by recording full takes through an entire song. We'll start managing multiple full takes within take folders. Then I'll look at how we can focus on individual sections of the song when recording and making that as comfortable as possible for the performer while helping you manage all those takes and parts that you've recorded. In the second section on recording, I'll show you how to work with replace mode, and then we'll look at punching techniques, manual and auto punch, to really expand your ability to run a session. Finally, we'll work with multi-mic sessions, where you can record a whole band at the same time and figure out how to make that work. Part two is the essentials of audio editing in Logic. The first section on editing fundamentals will cover audio files, regions, and clones, little conceptual stuff. After that, I'll take you through manipulating snap and drag modes, which is essential to moving audio around or trimming it in Logic's tracks area. The next section of the course focuses completely on working within take folders. We'll cover quick swipe comping, traditional audio editing, and exporting the contents of the take folder back out to the main window. The final section of the course starts with a bit about workflow. After all, you want to work fast, effectively, and with a minimum of fuss. That's followed by working with region-based fades and cross-fades, using audio transients for separating and editing audio with the marquee tool, and using shuffle modes and tools. Once you're done with this course, you should have a lot of insight into how Logic works and how you can make it work for you. Like they say, work better, faster, and smarter. So strap in and get ready for audio essentials.